Here we are in Toledo, Ohio, August 4th, 2014, 48 hours after 500,000 people lost their drinking water due to toxins released by cyanobacteria. This Toledo, Ohio disaster is the first time I have ever been in the middle of a disaster with cyanobacteria. The plan is to let the water defense environmental indicators sit in the water column for half an hour to get some initial readings and uh, be able to find out exactly what is in the water, diagnose it, so we can then bring people together to solve the problem. We, uh, the society is inundating the waterways with chemicals, fertilizers, phosphorus, oil, you know, everyday spills from humans. It, it, it's a collective problem and we need to educate people before it's too late and bring people together to solve this problem. No controls on fertilizers, contamination continuing to be dumped into Lake Erie. And now we have the simple cause and the simple effect right out there. This is the top sample. And here is the bottom, 30 minute exposure. We are at a residence now in Toledo. Now that we, we got the baseline readings from Maumee, is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. uh, North Maumee Bay, which is Lake Erie, right? Correct. And we were in the thick, green, goopy algae and we Right. We uh, have that as kind of a baseline, so we'll see what's, if anything, is making it through. We're going to take the Alplex cube and we're going to let the water run for half an hour. It's 325. So now we're going to go into the shower in Toledo and we're going to run it for half an hour. And see if we detect any contamination and see what is coming through the water system. We now have the baseline readings from North Maumee Bay. Then the city draws the drinking water and the tap water and the bathing water from Lake Erie, from the water that flows through North Maumee Bay. This home does not have any kind of filtration system on it and we're testing the shower and the sink again for a half an hour. So what are you exposed to if you take a shower right now in a half an hour period? Hopefully the results will come back negative for everything, for volatiles, semi-volatiles, metals, metalloids, and the toxins from the cyanobacteria. But the mayor just drank the water on TV. So. Yep. Well, Hopefully. God bless the mayor. You just take this cube, this open cell matrix cube that mimics the alveoli of the human lungs and breathes contamination and exhales clear water. Put it in a jar and send it to a lab. And thanks to Kelly for letting us in her home in Toledo and allowing us to test the water to help the community know what is in the water, what is really in the water post water treatment facility after the government has lifted the ban from the toxins. And we're going to test for the full gamut of materials to let people know what's in the water. Again, very simple. We don't think at Water Defense people should be playing Russian roulette with what's in their water. I think that's what he's talking about out there. Water treatment facilities over there? Yeah. Deploying two and a half miles in front of the water intake valves for the Toledo, Ohio water treatment facility.